Hi, peeps. It's about 55 degrees here. It's a Sunday. It's a nice day. And uh, I'm going to get this on here. Everybody's been a dog in my butt. Why is that dinner in the cleaner? Why is that thing not clean? This is it, this is Look at it. Why would anybody want to clean that stuff? <laughs> but no, the other day before we started working on this, it was pouring down rain. Stevie started pressure washing it. And no, we don't have a steam jenny. We used to, but it went bad and we ended up, now we got a pressure washer. We'll end up with a steam jenny again someday. But uh, Stevie started pressure washing the other day. And it turned into daggone monsoon season. He's sitting out here, and poor Stevie, he was actually hanging with it. It was pouring down rain. He's sitting out there still. I said, Stevie, you wanna shut that down a bit? <laughs> said, well, it don't matter now. I'm already soaked, and he's going. <laughs> so when he got down to this little pity party, we uh, just pulled it inside and went to work on it. So that's why I never got steam clean. God, but see, here's here's where it's halfway clean. That's where Stevie been washing on it. But now, down in here, we've been digging the dirt, me and Guinea did. We dug some dirt out, belly pan. And that stuff there was mostly that uh, mineral spirits. Where it's blasting there, finally drained out. But we do got one more leak. And I do gotta clean it before we get in there. There's a leak down inside here. As you can see the puddle it's leaving. So I'll figure I'll wash it off real good and we'll end up backing it right back in the garage Monday. I ain't never seen the likes of leaks on a skitter. Mercy of Jesus. Well, let me get this bad boy fired up and we'll get after it. All right, I didn't get totally done. I burned a full tank of gas through that pressure washer. Got a big pile of mess underneath. And there is a pile of mess. Boy, that stuff's two or three inches thick. But we pulled a lot of it out. And uh, we... Guinea filled the gas tank up for me. Let me get up under here in the tranny and stuff. And inside the winch, and that stuff was, that stuff was full all the way up in here. Look inside that winch back there. But anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm yakking. But anyways, well, here's what I was trying to cover. Let me back up here. Now, those of you on here that's loggers, and now everybody's got different stuff that works in different areas. But look at that. Them's 66-inch uh, tall tires uh, sitting on 25 and 20, with the back's 25, front's 26-inch rims. Look at the stance of it. It's a short frame. It's a 648 frame but the short version, um, it don't weigh a lot more than a 548. But you got the power of the 648. Uh, Pee Wee thinks the world of this skitter. And Roger thinks a lot of it too. And it's just, a th it's, a, it's a gone by era. You know, skitters are huge now and shit like that. But in our area the fact that it's the short frame when we got this i told dad there's a chance that this could be the most used skitter we own and and after having it it, it pretty much is this skitter drags them junkyard skitter and this skitter drags the most wood out of the whole company them other skitters all the two cable skitters and the big grapple all combined probably drags less than a quarter of the wood. And these two, this skitter and junkyard skitter, drags the most of it. But with our deep soils, our large trees, it's just a, the way of balance. This thing just happens to be a very potent machine. And it's a cheap, it's a dime a dozen, it's a daggone discount skitter. But it's just... Uh, in our area, it's just amazing how it works out that this machine is just, uh, and Junkyard's machine's very good. It's got the long frame, but the balance is good on Junkies, and the balance is very good on this one for what we're doing. With the den and shortening up the trees, you know. So it's the type of thing where 
Oh, like old Blackie. Blackie's a 1990 model. And look, we're still, it's still just as good today as any of the new trucks. And this skitter's gonna be the same way with the in the world skitters for our area. You know, and that, that ties into soil type, uh, timber type, and uh, job size. You know, that's three different angles that, that kind of makes this skitter work. It's just neat how, 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 but yeah, like I said, and I cry around about the, you know, I've done the John Deere bashing and stuff, but I mean, no, it's a very good, the nothing runs like a deer stuff, that works for this. <laughs> but also the nothing runs oil like a deer stuff works too. <laughs> but hopefully if we make the best out of both worlds, and this skitter we bought cheap. It was a. Um, it come from Michigan. Ran and Stevie wasn't wrong. It ran in Kentucky. It come from Michigan, and they uh, used it down in Kentucky for quite a few years. And uh, it was gutted, basically. It was a piece of junk. I think we spent twenty-one grand on it when we bought it, and uh, fixed it all up. Did a bunch of work to it. I'd say the some bucks in the forties now. And, and it's drug all all kinds of wood for this company for the past I think we got it in 2013 no no hell no 2011 is when we bought this thing and it's drug the majority of the wood from 2011 till now so if that tells you how much use it skitter's done for our company so all the crybaby and Grubbling around, I do. It's still that good a skitter for us. It, and 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 you know, I hate to admit it, but Pee Wee's right. I mean, it's just, it's just a very good little skitter. But it's been neglected like a sunbuck, and we're just gonna start putting a little bit of emphasis on it and taking care of it. We got some cylinder pins and bushings to change. Uh, we got some. Uh, and I think that's just a cylinder pins and bushings. The center section's done done. Derek done that. Done a hell of a job on it. It's tightened up. The center section's tight, but the cylinders, the steering cylinders are not tight. We just put them rebuilt cylinders on the grapple. Down here we got some leaks going on. The uh, the brakes work on the uh, what do they call that? The snubber. The brakes, we, I put new shafts in it a while back, and uh, it's got new brake. Uh, all that stuff's done done up in it. Got the updated rotate motor in it. Oh, that's the updated version. The piston rotate motor. So, I mean, we'll just keep this skitter up. Thanks to the new diesel regulations and all that bull mess. <laughs> We'll just keep a rebuild her and rocking out with her. She'd be like old Blackie. Old Rod, you'd be like well, I am with old Blackie with this old Irma here. But no, this is Pee Wee and Rodgy's favorite skitter. It's all motor and and it is. You can get out there in a the bush now. This son of a buck is punky compared to the other skitters. When you when the ground gets soft, everybody just gets out of the way because this skitter just a bouncing through and junkyard skitter right behind it. But it, it's just neat. How, how it worked out, you know. It, it, it's just neat. It's very neat. You just have to see it in the in action, you know, to see. And like I was doing that video a while back in the swamp pole video, you know, it, it just to, to see the son of a buck skate across the top of the mud and pull the wood out. No, it ain't gonna pull the biggest drag ever was. But the grapple, the tong size is related to the chassis size. And the horsepower in the motor is, I'd say this thing's pushing, I'd say a skitter weighs about, with them tires and everything on it, no more than 32,000 pounds. And it's probably pushing 180, I'd say 180 horse at 32,000 pounds. And the way it's balanced, it's balanced very good. The back end is really light. Kind of acts like a cable skitter. It's got good floaters on it, you know. Which in our area, that's everything. Your balance is everything. 
But uh, anyway, so I'll shut up.